All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Cube SMP. I am below the pizzeria right now in the payments room. This is where people pay. <laughs> Why is that not stacked? That's going to bother a lot of your OCD. There we go, put that there. All right, so we got bricks, and I was looking at the staircase here, and I was coming down examining this place before we complete it up, because if you did not see last episode, we did finally finish the exterior here. Check it out. <laughs> it's all done. Nice and terraformed. It doesn't look like an eyesore anymore. So the exterior is complete. Now we just need to finish the interior, which is going to be a different story. Now in here, it looks all good. I want to I want to get your opinions on this because I said I would do it last time. Ooh, you know what we actually do need to do? We need to cover this. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Hold on a second, what would look best here if we covered this? Like that, and then a half slab on top? Would that look good? No, that does not look good. <laughs> I don't know how to cover this, to be completely honest. I did not even think of this when I was doing this. Or, can you make, um, what should I call it? Can you make brick slabs? Because you, you can make brick stairs, right? Just a thought. Ah, you can. We're good. <laughs> uh, a lot of you are going to yell at me for a second there. So let's just cover this up then. Oh, and we'll just put this like right. Oh, man, I'm bad at placing blocks. Oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, don't kill me. Wait, why is it not? Oh, why is it not placing? Am I not allowed to place one here? Interesting. Huh. But I can place this here. One second. Ah, you can't place a slab on top of another slab. I never knew that. I never knew that. You learn something new every single day. Wow, you would think I would know that, but I did not know that. Interesting. <laughs> I actually did not know that. I thought you could place them on top of each other. Okay, that changes plans a bit. Now I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with the roof here then at the back. Um, so what we did here, okay, I guess he put like the acacia and he put some glowstone to kind of separate it, separate it off. I wonder if the acacia would work once again over here, kind of covering these last few holes. If we get rid of that brick there, that's what was there before. Yeah, guys, I have absolutely no, no idea what I'm going to do here because if I turn these into blocks, they're not going to fit there at all. And if I turn them into slabs, they don't fit there either. I don't know what to do, <laughs> and I don't want this empty space here above my freaking thing. It just looks odd. Just looks odd. Anyways, you guys can suggest what I do. I'm going to think that you guys are going to say I have to change the roof entirely over this way just because, hmm, or could we do this? You could just block it in like that. I wonder if that would look good. Okay, so we have a lighting glitch here, but that's how it would look. That completely encases it, and it kind of looks good. <laughs> I mean, I can't say it looks horrible. It looks better than it did before. You guys can let me know on that. I really don't know. Um, I, I need something to fix that, though, because that's going to bother me for the rest of eternity if it's not fixed. And I'm going to go ahead and quickly place that one back. But yeah, lighting glitches suck. <laughs> I don't like them at all. All right, so the second thing I wanted to do here, is, which is why we're here as well, is I wanted to take my bricks, and if we go down this pathway here, you'll see that we linked this. And I'm, I showed this at the beginning of the episode, but I don't want it like this. I don't want this pathway to go to here too. I don't want them both linked here. I want an access point for this payment room, but I want this pathway to go directly down to the kitchen. So we're gonna get rid of this. Cause I, don't, I don't want this. We're gonna get rid of this. All this, this, this doesn't need to be here. And we're going to pick it up. Perfect. And we're just going to go ahead and put that there. So it's a clear staircase down. And we're going to completely cover this up. <laughs> I'm not even joking, guys. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it so that the pathway that goes to the payment room splits off this way instead. Oh, I'm a genius, aren't I? <laughs> That way it's kind of semi-symmetrical. Are you, are you look at that? Look at that. See, we got we got the pathway right away and it worked out in our favor. Now I just need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. 
I want it to just go directly down, kind of. Is that going to work? It's still going to uncover the payment room. There we go. And we should just put another nether rack here. Go down a bit more. Just add one to everything. And then we should be good. We need to extend that down one more, I think. And we'll get rid of these extras that we don't need. I think that's good. Um, for what I'm looking for, at least. But then it interacts with this, <laughs> which is another problem. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe we do need it coming around here, but we'll just have it go down right here. And we'll completely get rid of this and keep this like we had before, I think. There we go. I don't know. Just some starter ideas here. This would go down to the kitchen like so. And I don't think you would really interact with what needs what is going on here because I can get up easily. So that's good. And then over here, of course, we would just put nether rack. And we would replace the stone with nether rack. There's already nether rack there. Put the brick here and surround the area with brick instead of dirt. That's the idea. There we go. And that would be the path down to the whatchamacallit, <laughs> the uh, payments room. So I would have like two arrows leading to both separate sides and now, uh, yeah, so I'd have signs here and I think I'll just put one. I'll say payments, so this way, payments, and this way, kitchen. So it's like a kind of directional sign thing and you go down and pick which way you wanna go. I think that looks a lot better than it did before. I'm still debating what I want to do for this pathway down to the kitchen, though. Because <laughs> I don't like this one. I'm fine with this one over here. This one looks good. I like this one. Clear path. No problem. But this... Oh, and this needs to be filled in, too, actually. Didn't even think about that. You know what? Um, I have 30 more bricks. It's not going to cover every single block in here. But we might as well cover up as much as we can, right? So that makes it looks good for the most part for now. <laughs> That's the goal. Um, yeah, I might I might get another rack stealing going on here. We'll see what happens. But I just wanted to go and do that real quick. Uh, but now we're gonna go ahead and check out spawn. So yeah, let me know what you think of the interior there. Oh, the lighting glitch is gone. Now we actually have a clear perspective of it. Does it look good? Do you want me to push it back one? Do you want me to use a different block? Let me know. And I will take every idea you guys have into consideration like I usually do. And one more thing. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> We're getting rid of lettuce because I don't know why I even put lettuce there. And we'll just put... Uh, what what else comes on, on pizza? Mushrooms. <laughs> there you go. And we actually have an item for that. Mushrooms. There you go. I looked up 10 most popular pizza toppings and I saw mushrooms and that wasn't there yet. So people get mushrooms on their pizza. We got the olives, the onions, the tomatoes, all of that. So I think other than the interior now, the only thing we have left to do with the pizzeria is the redstone work, which is pretty much, oops, pretty much for the most part done. I just need to load up on all the ingredients and that can be found right below here. As you can see, if you really wanted to see the completed version, I know I didn't show a lot of it last episode. Let's go in here quickly. I replaced all the blocks with brick and all the, oh, why is this here? I have no idea what that was there. That was not supposed to be there. Uh, but basically, it's a simple system. Oh, and there's a hopper missing here. Good thing I have 17 of them. So we'll just put another one in there. There you go. And the, uh, whatchamacallit, dispensers shoot out the ingredients. They go in the hoppers, and they go into the order chest over there. And uh, it's a simple design. I copied H. <laughs> if you are not familiar, just goes repeaters, redstone, repeaters, re redstone. And then, you know, for symmetry, we got this thing in the middle cutting it off because there's no order button here. And whoa, it's a good thing I noticed that. I'm going to cover this up real quick so it looks good. There we go. And uh, that's the redstone. So that's the only thing I think we have left to do in here. Um, so yeah, let's go check out spawn a bit. Don't die. No, no. Okay, here we go. There we go. Whew, that was close, man. And close that off again. Pizzeria. There we go. All right, so let's check out Spawn, guys. Uh, we usually do our usual tour of Spawn. Um, but before we do, I'm going to quickly play a clip that I did with Devin the other day. You may have seen it on his video already, but I managed to dig it up. I thought I lost it, but I managed to dig it up. It's where I give him my Silk Touch pick. 
uh, and there's like a transaction we did there. And I just wanted all of my viewers to be up to date on it in case you weren't familiar. So I will play that now and then we'll check out Spawn. Hey, Devin. What, do you see me? No, I'm coming right now. I've got your oh. Silk Touch pick, my brother. Oh, sweet, yeah. <laughs> you had to poop. Yeah, two TMI, TMI, Devin. All right, I'm at the chest. Woo! Okay. Wait, where are you, Devin? <laughs> I just saw a snowball. Oh, there you are. Ah, I was like, where did me. you go? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So okay. you. So the deal is, here's the deal. You said, Grazer. You know, I'm not trying to wait for you to collect all this packed dice. I want to do it on my own time. I want to do it for myself. And I said, all right. So these two stacks were what I still had in my nether hub chest. I found them. They're yours. Right. I'll give them to you. But I'll also give you my silk touch. And for every stack you mine, since you're doing it on your own, but you're using my silk touch, you're wasting my durability. You got to pay me a price. And what price did wait. we... What? 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 What price did we agree on for every stack you mine with that thing? Um, well, you know, can it does have efficiency five and unbreaking three. Hold on, let me just test it out. The see efficiency, how quick... Yeah, the efficiency doesn't work on packed dice, remember? See? Doesn't work. It takes a while. <laughs> it's going to take you a while. It only to... takes like a second. Yeah, but you're going to have to do that for every single block you break. So it's going to be pretty long. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. All um, right, just saying, just saying, because I could do the same I'll... thing. All right. Oh, so the efficiency doesn't work at all? Wait, oh, wait, but unbreaking. Yeah, so I'm it breaking. It doesn't break. Yeah, it doesn't break easily. So you'll have let's enough see. to get a bunch of stacks. What 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 seems reasonable? Let's 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 talk it out real quick. All right. So how many stacks do you plan on getting? Uh, a lot. Okay. So per stack, that's about sixty four mines. How much durability does the pickaxe have? If you check. Uh, it doesn't say for me. I don't have say. that. Okay. Uh, it has. 1,198. So what's that divided by 64? We'll see how many stacks you can actually get before it breaks. Uh, but if you're planning on getting a lot of stacks, would you say 12 is considered a lot? Like, is that around the range you're going for? Yeah, more than that? let's just say 12. 12? Okay, so it's got 1,198. I just want to see how much you can actually get. So divided by 64, you can get 18.7, so 18 stacks of packed dice and about yeah. almost 19. So, if you waste all the durability and get 18 stacks of packed dice, it's going to cost me about 10 to 15 levels to repair it. Um, so, I would say, huh, because it's going to cost me diamonds to repair it as well. And depending on how broken it is, the more diamonds it's going to take. Let's go for, I don't know, five gold per stack or something. What do you want? Okay, sounds good. All right. <laughs> I mean, you know, I only accept gold because I don't need iron. And I feel like it's not worth diamonds, so... Right, right, right. right. All right. Gold sounds good, okay. Gold sounds sounds good. good. All right, sweet. Devin, we got that Thank settled. You. No problem. This whole pack dice biome is yours. Um, if you need travel around, here's a half stack of ender pearls, so you can ender pearl Oh, wow, stack. the business. <laughs> I am awesome in this field, you know? I own, like, a billion shops, so just call me up whenever you need me next. Right. And, okay, uh, sounds good. All right, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Thanks. All right. So yeah, now that you're up to date on that, that's why I don't have my silk touch anymore, and my efficiency five is almost broken. But I do want to check out something that Tibsy's got going on over here. So Tibsy was on the server yesterday. Uh, the president was on. We were all <gasps> the president. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I was like, isn't it supposed to be between here? But you know, okay. Finally, finally, finally. And you know, quickly before we check out anything, I need to refill on Ender Pearls. So it's a good thing I refilled this chest. Like, people are using it. That's awesome. <laughs> I, whoa, what is that? What's going on here? What is this thing? I have no idea what that is, but that's annoying. B! <laughs> I'm sorry I turned that off, but that was, like, driving me crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, I feel bad now. Is that supposed to be on? It didn't look like it was doing anything. I'll ask her about it, see what, what's up. Because uh, I did watch one of her videos and it looked like this kind of cool flower thing. So I don't know if I'm ruining anything. I don't know how it works. But it's a bone miller or something. <laughs> I don't know. But let's check out over here. So look, the coop, guys, is finally fixed. 
Free food is back on the block. Mr. Mitch is going to start running out of business again. I'm so happy. President came on yesterday and was like, you know what? I'm tired of this food companies charging people food. We got to get the free food back on, so he delivered. <laughs> I'm so happy, though. Oh, man, that's less expensive for me. So we got free food back on the block, the coop, and it's finally fixed. We just need cyan clay here to fill in the road. A lot of people have been telling me, actually, to, f to fix the road near my block shop. Ah, this is what you guys meant, huh? You guys wanted me to fix this? Okay. You know, I, I will replace it with stone for now, just because anything looks better than grass. Actually, I'll replace it with brick, so it matches the uh, the store's appearance. And then we'll get the cyan in later. Deal? Deal. Because anything, anything looks better than grass, and I agree. And it doesn't really blend in with the spawn at all, but it kind of is themed with the, the shop. So, stop complaining about it. I'll probably get some cyan clay this... Uh, this episode actually to fix up some of the roads because we are actually extending the roads if you weren't not familiar and over here there is another piece of broken road not in front of the bank there was one place it was uh i think it was yeah it was the juice box over here ah here we go that needs fixing so that's something that definitely needs to get done but let's stop stalling <laughs> we need to check out this so mr president was on he fixed the coop and he made this and where are all the cows this used to be, well, I was on yesterday, I was checking this out. It was a automatic cow farm where you click a button. It's just like my one I used to have over here, except it looks a lot nicer. I think it might be a lot more efficient. What does this do? Okay, so it's like, oh, whoa, hold on a second. What? There we go. Okay, I switched it back. I think I know what I did. I clicked the button too quickly. Now I gotta break this. And ah, oh, the water bucket's gone. Of course it's gone. I gotta fix that now. Dang, dang, dang. <sighs> Here you go, Mr. President. Your water bucket back in the dispenser like it should work. I think this should work again, right? And if I click that, now if I click this, but not too fast, should trigger automatically. Awesome. So, that's fixed. No worries. <laughs> Grazer made a boo-boo. Ayo. Stacy's on. Uh, anything else new at spawn? I have not checked recently. Hmm. Not sure. I don't think. I think that's, for the most part, it for the new stuff at spawn. So, yeah. Ah, the Mesa. Nobody's been here in so long. <laughs> this is like a dead place. Like, I know Stacy lives here somewhere, but she lives like way far as away from here. Like, up here. Oh, I'm gonna die. Well, bye bye. Oh, never mind. I made it. She lives like this way. Way far this way, I think. Whereas the main hub for clay collection is over here so here's my plan if you guys can see obviously i'm not gonna get that much clay out of this i've got like 75 durability left on my unbreaking so 75 times three is about how much i'm gonna get from this uh so you know i mean i'm gonna get at least a stack or two how much did that do so i'm now at 73 and i got seven so yeah that's about right with my math <laughs> um but yeah i'll get about three stacks or so but i'm gonna go for two stacks and then I'm going to bring it back to spawn and fix up the roads a bit. And then I'm going to handle my pick situation. I think uh, H might be selling them uh, at his shop for about six diamonds. And I know Doll sells, I, th I think she sells one diamond per stack of hardened clay. So if we could redeem one stack and get some diamond, that would be good. And then we will see what, what happens from there, what proceeds. So I'm going to go ahead and collect some clay here. Aha, my lapis shop and cactus shop. Well, cactus farm finally come in handy. You can go ahead and take... Ooh, hold on a second. Did we get a sale here? No, we didn't. It almost looked like we got a sale because I thought I had filled in all the stacks, but I guess I was wrong. Can we get that back? Thank you. I was not looking forward to going down there to get it. Uh, but let's go ahead and take uh, some of that because we're going to need it. And we will mix that with some cactus dye. And that's how we're going to make the cyan clay. 
I went ahead and collected three stacks of it, exactly three stacks, and my pick is now sitting at 26, so my math was a bit wrong. I probably could get up to five stacks with that durability. What is with all the chickens just everywhere? I don't want to kill them because I don't want them to go to extinct or something. One thing I need to do, though, is I finally need to change this red glass back to white. I know a lot of you have uh, have been wanting me to do that. It's not actually meant to be that way. A long time ago, I can't remember who it was. It might have been Grape or Tibsy or something. We were all like on the cube and someone accidentally broke it and then we just put a quick replacement. And since I haven't been really taking care of this place, I really haven't been moderating it. But I think I'm going to start doing that again. <laughs> a lot of you have wanted me to fill this up and I think I'm going to start taking care of it again because I think I can make some quick easy profits. So I might spend an episode just to do that, get my potion shop back on track, um, because I've been working on other projects lately. One other thing, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get some cactus right here in the double chest. Oh, what happened? Was the farm disabled? Did someone disable the farm? Oh, I have no idea what happened. Why does it, why does it not filter through anymore? I was I, I understand if someone did because oh no because it's free that's right Parker took it all and it's taking a long time to refill I'm an idiot I'm just not used to people taking it because <laughs> no one ever did uh, do we have any furnaces around here I believe we have some there's like this hole over here by this horse pen and it's got like iron doors and stuff yeah here it is and there's like two furnaces down here I think yeah okay perfect so we'll just go ahead and cook our stuff in here and you know what Actually, hmm, we need to cook the cactus. Oh, we don't have the wood. You know what, I'm gonna get myself sorted here and I'll be right back. All right, I wanted to update people regarding the block display. Here's the vote, everyone. I know it doesn't do much, but I did spend an entire episode on it a while ago. I wanna know what you guys think. Should I remove the block display or keep it? But if you say you want me to remove it, you need to suggest something else I replace it with, because I don't want just empty space here. I do agree it looks kind of like an eyesore. Um, and, and also, to address the millions of comments on last video, <laughs> yes, I know, there was an ax here. I looked at it again. I'm breaking three for three diamonds. I might actually go for it, to be honest. That's something I've been looking at, but I also want this, six diamonds. I want this work pick right here. So we will see what I get, because I'm probably gonna get some more diamonds from Dull using this hardened clay, which I should probably do now before I go ahead and make, because I'm not gonna need any more than a stack to fill in these little roads with cyan clay. I mean, the new roads can wait because nobody's planning on building a new shop yet and needs space. So I think she's selling them for 64 hardened clay, right? Yeah, 64 hardened clay. So we just put two stacks in there and we get two diamonds, am I right? Oh, she's out. Are you serious? Wow. H-bomb. I knew it. I knew you would do it. I knew you would do it. Ah, oh, dang. That wrecks everything. I totally thought I was going to snag those diamonds. Because I didn't think anybody else was going to get them. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. H, why you do this to me? Oh, man. All right, let's go make our way back to those furnaces here and smelt up all this hardened clay then. I'm probably just, or sorry, the cactus. And I got, I've got some wood now with me, some oak wood. All right, guys, it is time to polish up around here with the roads. Let's get some cyan dye and make some cyan clay. I'm going to make a lot of this probably because are you serious? Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to first make some cyan clay go out to here because we need we need everything to be cyan that's what we started off with that's what we're gonna keep going with uh, but the, the sad thing is you can't collect cyan clay directly from a mesa which is the worst I don't know what John wants to do here I don't know do we want to replace this or because <laughs> I don't want to just make the decision on behalf of him I'm gonna see if it looks better with it cyan we'll see if, just a sec oh oh I mean, it remains consistent, right? We'll see. John hasn't been on for a while, so he probably won't even notice. <laughs> and we needed to do the block shop, which is over this way. Why does it have to rain? Why does it have to rain? Get that rain sound out of here. That's how you turn it off, by the way. If you did not know, that's how you turn rain sounds off. Just turn your particles to minimal. All right, get these bricks out of here because those look ugly. 
There we go, and replace it with cyan. And finally, we have one more place to do this at. Oh, did we um, did we ever do the watermelon stand over here? Did we ever finish this road or the sand shack? No. Yes. Yes, Tomok did that. No, Pat did not do this, but I think he wants to remain themed like that as well. Okay, so we just need one more, which is the juice box, so we'll go do that. And I think we'll end it off for today, guys. Today we're just polishing things up, <laughs> making it good. And speaking of polishing, there's actually one other thing I want to check out before we end off the episode that somebody or told me. I don't know if it's true or not yet, but I want to go check it out anyways. So juice box needs to be replaced. Here we go. Get that hardened clay in there. Now everything's looking consistent. Now if, if words are right, if rumors are good and, and sayings are true, that means over here, yay. Oh, it's true. Yep. I'm surprised only one person said this. They're, okay, every time I say that, people are like, no, I told you first. But yeah, I did not know there was unfinished roof here. So you know what? I'm just going to end off the episode here so that you can all look at it and admire it. So I will see you guys. No, I'm just kidding. I still have some cactus cooking in here. So I'll just grab the wood that's cooking it. We got 18 more and we got 18 more here. So we got a lot of cactus dye. And I should, um, if I were to ask you on a date, what would you say? You know, today I wouldn't, but tomorrow I'm all for it. That almost rhymes. So let's go ahead and make this into stairs and fix the roof of this thing. Finally, and at last. Ugh, it looks horrible. Just polishing up everything. Tomorrow doesn't work for me. <laughs> I don't know, man. I guess it wasn't meant to be. I guess it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Poor guy. Never go on a date again. And I think that's it, right? That's the whole roof now fixed. That looks like it. No grazer, don't you be like that. <laughs> all right, yeah, that looks like everything. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of the Cube SMP. If you did, remember to leave a rating. And I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. No, 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 nothing special today. <laughs> <laughs>